Greetings, and welcome back everyone to Around the Clock. First off, I want to give a big shout out to all of my subscribers, as well as anyone tuning in and listening. Thank you all for all of your support. Now everyone, as you can see in the title of this video, Masahiro Sakurai explains why he left HAL Laboratory, as well as gives us an explanation on why he enjoys making games in the Super Smash Bros. series. First off, for all of you who are unaware of what HAL Laboratory is, this is an independent Japanese game developer company who was based in Tokyo and was started in 1980. Now HAL Laboratory has always had a close relationship with Nintendo and they're mostly famous throughout the gaming community to be responsible for games that are in the Mother series, the Kirby series, and of course the Super Smash Bros. series of games. Now guys, recently Edge Magazine has got an interview with Masahiro Sakurai, the director of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And in this interview, Masahiro Sakurai went on to speak on how leaving HAL Laboratory and creating the Kirby series as well as the Super Smash Bros. series created new ideas within him. And he said this, and I quote, There's been some kind of misunderstanding about that. I never said that I didn't want to make Kirby games. I think what I talked about in the past about it being difficult to create a new game if I just stayed at HAL has been twisted somehow. I wouldn't mind working anywhere as long as I get to create new things. I think making Smash Brothers because Nintendo has asked me to and because I feel that it's a project that I should prioritize above all else if I'm asked to do it. If I create a new game that may be one more great fun game people can play but by making Smash Brothers I can create something with more value and wide reaching effects. However, I definitely don't feel like I am stuck in a rut doing similar things. Every time I add lots of new things and I feel that it's a job I always enjoy." End quote. Now, what I take from this interview is that maybe if Sakurai stayed with HAL Laboratory that he couldn't have made the type of games he wanted because like he said, he enjoys creating new things and new experiences. And that's what we have, especially with the new Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. I mean, 74 plus characters off the bat. You do have to unlock them though, but 74 plus characters, that's amazing. Along with the DLC that is coming out and surprises that we haven't seen before. We already have confirmation of Joker being in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as the first DLC character in the Fighters Pass. and. There's also word that Erdrick from the Dragon Quest series of games will be making his appearance in the Super Smash Bros. Fighters Pass as well. Now, it's just a rumor as far as Erdrick is concerned, but this is big because in this Super Smash Bros. game this time around with Ultimate, I mean, it's just like they pulled out all the punches for this one. They've already sold millions within two weeks of the game's release. And this is not from just being a hyped up game. This is a quality piece of art. I mean, you know that the team there, along with Sakurai, the team at Nintendo, they spent time, effort, and money to put into this game. And it shows, guys. It really does show. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. What are your thoughts on Masahiro Sakurai leaving HAL Laboratory and expanding his range and creativity and making the Super Smash Bros. series of games, as well as all the great Kirby games? Please let me know down in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on daily Nintendo gaming news related content here at Around the Clock, where here we focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. Catch you guys in the next one.